In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to view the color separations that make up the final image in both RGB and CMYK color spaces. By left-clicking the Windows menu, and going down to Channels, we can see the image broken down into color separations. Within this example, if we zoom in at this point, we can see according to the channels, for separations of color we are working in an RGB color space. This is best used if the final outcome is to be viewed on screen for example on the web, online photo albums and TV etc. By clicking on the icons to the left of the color channels, we can see what the results will be if those colors were completely taken out of the image. An image can have up to 56 channels, created to exactly the same pixel mapping and dimensions of the original size photograph. But, why would we want to know about channels? One of the benefits are alpha channels. These store selections as grayscale images. You can add alpha channels to create and store masks, which let you manipulate or protect parts of an image. The other benefit will be covered when we turn the image into CMYK and how this can impact on the print process. To change the color mode, simply go up to Image Mode and change it from RGB to CMYK. The reason we would need to change this is to do with the final outcome. For example, if this picture was to be sent to a commercial printer for printing within a magazine or publication, the color would have to be set correctly to CMYK so the colors come out as intended. If the colors were left in RGB, the result would be dark and not as you intended. However, by being able to change the color renditioning of the photo to CMYK you can now tailor it to how you would like it to be seen. Using the same technique as was used when the image was in RGB, we can now go through, turning on and off the various colors and adding in further channels. In the previous color mode, it was mentioned you could add a channel that was referred to as an alpha channel. Now within this color mode you can specify a spot channel. What are these? These are channels that have specific colors within them of special inks. For example, if we wanted some text placed over the image, and that text to be in either gold or a spot UV added only to the text area, it would be within these channels, such direction and creative license would take place. Once you are happy with the color renditioning of the image and you've made the adjustments needed, save the file labeled as a CMYK update. Something to indicate that it is different from the original image. That way, you will always have the original file to call on, and is the first step in producing what is called a non-destructive workflow. This will be covered in another tutorial. Thanks for watching.